Praise the Lord. Thank you. I don't know about nobody else, but but I'm happy right now. I'm happy right now. Somebody said, "Brother, why are you so happy this month?" Well, first of all, I'm happy because God woke me up. And started me on my way. I'm happy because it's a good morning to all of our church family and, and our Facebook family and friends. It's a good morning. If you're looking at me, I can see you, but you're looking at me, it's a good morning. And you ought to go and high five somebody that's sitting next to you there on the sofa and say, it's a good moment. And God, this morning, praise the Lord, somebody. Come on, come on, see your hand, clap for praise the Lord, and I can go.
you present your body yeah. a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Holy, acceptable unto God. Yeah. Yeah. Which is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. Amen. And be not conformed to this the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. 
again, gracious God, I want to say thank you that you blessed us. That we're able to be a witness once again of your divine gospel. We pray right now for the anointing of your power to continue to dwell in this room. Bless those who's even tuned in and watching us right now. Anoint ears to be hearers. And then, Father, when we leave this house, help us to not only be hearers, but we need your presence to help us to be doers of your word as well. It's our prayer in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. 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 Our subject once again in our conclusion. Amen. Part five. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. simple in this place right now and those who's watching us amen that know God in reality we ought to cry out to him right now for revival and not only do we need to cry out to him for a revival but we ought to cry out to him for an outpouring of his holy power upon us right now in this hour. Amen. That need to be some heart felt repentance. Come before God right now. Amen. If my people called by my name would humble themselves first of all and pray and seek my faith and turn from there need to be some heart felt repentance come before God from their wicked ways then and only then Somebody need to understand that. Mm. Right there. Amen. Then and only then, yeah. he said, I will heal their prayer. Yeah. And then I will heal yeah. their land. Yeah. We need a healing yeah. that needs to be an outpouring of God's power yeah. upon us right now. In this hour. In the, in the beginning of our series, in part one, we talked about God has formed. And those of you that can remember from last week, I'm a little bit disappointed this morning. Yes. Yes, Pastor's a little bit disappointed this morning. Because he pop quizzed everybody that's watching, and then nobody responds to the pop quiz. As a matter of fact, I may mention that I cannot read it now because I got to read it. But later on, I'm going to be able to read it. The scriptures that Pastor has used in reference. To part one, God has formed. Yes. That was actually five scriptures. Y'all ain't saying one. Help me, Holy Ghost. Some listening, but not hearing. Right. And the Bible says, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the church. Brother, yes, right. God has formed. God has formed. Let me, let me, let me give you the scriptures. Amen. Genesis 2 and 7. Amen. It, it, it lets you know right there that God formed man. Then we went to Genesis 2 and 19. And uh -huh. Then we used 
Genesis 1 and 1 in the beginning. Everybody, you remember? I said, everybody, don't y'all make me look bad. You know what Genesis 1 and 1 says? And then I went to Genesis 1, 27 and 28. In reference to part one, God has fallen. Mankind being the crown of his creation. And then David said over in, in one, I believe it was 139 and 14. I believe mean David said that, that, that I got to praise you. You have fearfully and wonderfully made me. Marvelous is your word. And David said, not only that, but it's still out my soul knows it. All right. God has fallen. And then, then, and then, then, and then, sin, sin had deformed. That was part two. And, and, and it was only two scriptures. It was only two. Matter of fact, I shared one in Galatians 5, 19 to 21. But the scripture that zoomed in on where sin came on the scene is Romans 5 and 12. Y'all didn't say it in yet. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where you think they ought to get ready. Be mine or they <laughs> Come on, say amen, somebody. <laughs> See, we, we got to listen, 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 listen. This here, this here just cannot only be for the pastor. You've got to get this word in your heart as well. Yeah. All right. We can remember anything. And somebody said, how you, no, you, you know, the Bible lets you know you got to stay and depend on direction of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think one writer said, above all, if you don't get nothing else, let them help you try to get an understanding. Yes,
be y'all said to make a B plus right now. A B plus. That's pretty good. But not now, not having sent him one in. A B plus, that's pretty good. Well, what do you think, brother? Amen. Yeah, but I I'm, I'm probably need to go ahead on and shoot it out there, Sister West. For the benefit of somebody that. Amen. Seven Timothy three and seven. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can I get some help here?
just want you to know we have to have you. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. You won't, you're going to run up here in a minute. We have to have you here. Amen. Bless your heart. Amen. 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 And uh, we're going to continue in prayer. This is the first Sunday. Amen. Of the year. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. Amen. So many started out the same time we did. See this part. Amen. But we are so grateful to God for his kindness and his goodness and his blessing. And baby Hope Church family, our church family, we ask that you continue in prayer. Amen. I, I know that you all are knowing what's going on when you come to the shops and all that stuff, because it's all over national TV. On your cell phone and everything, messages pops up to let you know. Amen. I'm just gonna say. Continue in prayer. Amen. And, 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 and let Jesus lead you. He's a mighty good leader. He led my mother. Amen. Now, if he leads me that way, then I'll go that way. But right now, let him trust him, man. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm just going to keep praying. Amen. Amen. I'm going to keep praying and praying that God will heal this land. That's my prayer. That God will heal the man. Yes, sir. Amen. Because man is limited, right? And he's so frustrated, he don't know which way to go. Amen. Amen. But God, but God yes. is still on the throne. Yes. And he's in control. Until next Sunday morning, yes. I pray that God keep 